What were you doing before you got into You know, I had a few jobs, um, but right when I started shooting in the industry, I was working as a financial analyst. Oh, wow. It was very exciting. I had my own little cubicle. (laughs) It was awesome. (laughs) So that was my big job. Do you ever, you know, sometimes on set where there are really long days, sometimes we're not vibing with the people on set or the partners. I mean, everybody's got their bad day, but do you ever have a day when you're just kind of like, ugh, but then you remember those days in the cubicle and you're like, this is still better than that. (laughs) Yes, that is exactly what I remember, to be honest. I'm like, well, there are other things that could be going on, but I am lucky enough. And when that does happen, I find other things on set as well, Mm -hmm. where I'm like, I either really enjoy the crew. Mm -hmm. You know, if one thing's bothering me, there's always something you can try and find to like try and bring some joy (laughs) to the day. (laughs) Yeah, right. right. Yes. What has been one of the most toughest scenes that you've ever done? Oh, like just in terms of it could be anything. It could yeah. be the talent. It could be the weather. It could be the circumstances. Is there anything that like sticks out in your mind that was just like, man, that was really rough? You know, I ventured into be, mm-hmm. which was something I never really thought that I wanted to do, and then it was presented to me, and I jumped into that arena. And to be honest. As fun as it was, there were tough days where you're like, can you really do this? Mm -hmm. And are you going to look like a fool on camera and not be able to do it? You know, so there were really pressing moments in the BM realm that I did for kink. Um, But ended up having a blast. But there were pressing moments where you're like, oh, shit, I just don't know if I'm going to make it through this. And of course, I could have called it any time. But getting through that was sometimes a challenge for me and and I enjoyed the challenge but it could get challenging can you be more specific was oh. it like or oh oh like, no like- just the um either the bondage that was happening mm-hmm. was either you know extremely strenuous at the time added on with mm-hmm. while you're in bondage um just the pressure of the scene in general yeah. and you're like oh my god yeah I'm here make the most of it you yeah. know I mean besides random there's one scene that is sticking out in my mind at, like glaring at me right now <laughs> because it happened recently and it was truly dreadful um in most sense of the word yeah and to get through it it took a lot to do to put that face on to to just try and tell yourself and remember that you're on camera every moment of this scene right no matter what is happening behind you they're going to edit out the fans will never know what was really happening so just pretend and um getting through those can be very difficult sometimes yeah Mm -hmm. i'm assuming you probably don't want to give me specifics otherwise i feel like you would (laughs) i would give it away you would have done it you know there were struggles happening Lots of struggling, and for me, I don't have any struggles. I'm lucky enough to be able to fake everything mm-hmm. all day long. If so, me, like if male talent be. struggling, yes, yeah, yes, and um, that happens. It happens, but yeah. sometimes it happens worse than others. Yeah, you know, and you're like, is there any hope? <laughs> <laughs> and are we really going to continue on with this? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I did a scene once for Digital Playground that was really, really involved, and it like it had to do with like they took the whole scene and they like made it black and white and then added like color in certain parts so it was like this really strenuous scene where not only did we very special with like blood going everywhere but we had to change like we had to do like chroma key lip color and stuff like that and keep changing it so that like you know what I mean it was like green lipstick but like it would come out red like once they fixed it so it was just like a lot right it took us about 16 hours just to shoot the dialogue. Oh, dear God. Just the dialogue and all the pre-stuff. And so we didn't start the scene. You actually did the same day. Yeah. Oh, dear God. We didn't. It was only one scene. (laughs) We didn't start the scene until, like, after midnight. Oh, yeah. The 2 a.m. scenes are the best, right? (laughs) The guy was really... Done. He was done. He's done. done. And he was struggling. And the girl... 
what she's one of my favorite people, but she's also somebody who doesn't have a ton of patience sure. for people. No tolerance. No tolerance. And can't even fake yeah. the fact that no. it's it just, like, just I'm like, done. It was just awful. And I just said, yeah. I was like, this is like, are, is this going to happen? Are right. we going to After you put 16 hours in, you're relying on that last hour to yeah. just bring it home. Yeah. And that, yeah. Yeah. We just spent 16 hours <laughs> on the part that probably most and people can't are really replace through. anyone. Yeah. No. Exactly. And now we get to shoot the part that people are actually going to watch and and matters. here we are. And like, uh, and that is always on our mind. Yeah. Especially when I used to do a lot of features, that would happen more yeah. often than not. It would be 12, 1, 2 a.m. even for Penthouse City. Yeah. And you're like, we're really going to start this now. Yeah. They're, re- they're really going to do this. Yeah. And you're like, can't we just come back at 8 a.m.? I know. Shoot an hour of and be done but no they go for it and yeah and I, it really was upsetting to me at the time because performance is everything it's like yeah. you said they're fast forwarding to the shit that you just spent 16 hours on yeah and now this key moment where we're suffering we haven't eaten for 16 hours mm-hmm. where our makeup is like shot and mm-hmm. the guy has to bring it and we have to pretend to bring it at least <laughs> yeah. so it's you know hey guys if you want to support my show then you should think about joining my patreon At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.